In life, there is one type of guy that you really don't want to be, and this is something called a man-child. But how do you know if this is the type of guy that you are? Most of the guys who are like this have absolutely no idea that the things that they choose to do every day cause others to perceive them in a very undesirable way. Now what you're about to learn are these signature signs of the man-child. So if you secretly behave like this and you don't even know it, you can find out and then take steps to finally leave your man-child behind to become a much more mature, much more respectable man. Now first up, at number one, is lacking any motivation or ambition. Now since the beginning of mankind, men have been what you might call the movers and shakers of the world, which means that we are expected to take action and make moves that change the world for the better. Now whether it's planning and building huge skyscrapers or simply striving for a better paying career, men are known for getting things done. But the man-child, well, he's a little bit different because he lacks any real motivation or ambition for anything. In most cases, the man-child is a guy who still lives at home with his mom, even though he's in his late 20s, 30s, or 40s. Now next up is the second sign that you might secretly be a man-child and it's having immature friends. They say like attracts like, so you could say that the man-child attracts friends who are just like him. And one of the hallmarks of this type of guy is having several friends who are just as immature as he is. At the core, a man-child is simply a man who has not actually grown up. He might look like an older guy, and he might have the age to prove it, but when you spend enough time around him, you quickly realize that he does not act mature enough for his age. See, the truth is, most men are still boys at heart, but there's a huge difference between these men and the ones who act really immature. So if most of the guys that you hang out with right now are extremely immature, then there's a really good chance that you might secretly be a man-child without even knowing it. Now next up is the third sign to watch for, and it's never taking blame for anything. One of the biggest differences between real men who are mature and distinguished and the so-called man-child is that mature men take responsibility for their actions, especially when they do something wrong. The problem with the man-child is that he never thinks that he does anything wrong, so every time something goes wrong, he simply blames it on other people. Now next up is the fourth sign that you are a man-child, and it is expecting females to act like your mom. The truth is, mature men do things for themselves because they know that females don't want to feel like they are your mom. Now, it is definitely possible for a man-child to acquire a girlfriend, but what usually happens in this scenario is that they manage to secure a girlfriend purely by sheer luck or chance. And it doesn't take long for the girl to realize what type of man she caught because he begins to treat her like she is his mother, which means he is playing the role of a baby who needs everything done for him. Now, next up is the fifth calling card of the man-child and it is constantly telling immature jokes. If you're the gas attendant who is always telling jokes that aren't even a little bit funny, and if those jokes involve humor that is perfect for an 8-year-old, then there's a good chance that you might just be a man-child without even knowing it. Now next up is the sixth and final sign that men do that could indicate that they secretly have a man-child hiding inside of them, and it is never following through. When a mature, respected man says that he's going to do something, then he does it. As a man, your words should actually mean something, because we are the rocks that people need to be able to rely on. If you're a good friend of mine, I need to know that if and when my car runs out of gas in the middle of nowhere, you're actually going to show up and help me if I need your help. Since the man-child can follow through on anything, his words essentially become meaningless. And the type of guy that nobody wants to be around is the one who is all talk and who never backs anything up. Girls absolutely cannot stand men who do this, and other men don't want anything to do with them either. Imagine you're out with your friends and you come across a group of guys and something goes down. In this type of situation, you're going to want other males with you who you can count on to have your back. And a man-child is definitely not this type of guy. The problem with the so-called man-child is that he never really grows up, and men don't want to be around this guy because they can't trust him. And women simply don't like him because they want to spend their time around men and not boys. So if any of these things describe you, then it is a good idea to take a minute to sit down and grow up. And with that said, until next time, thanks for watching.